On today's episode of You Can't Leave Your Kids Alone With Anything Because They Have No Survival Instincts, I present magnets. This is not one, but two magnets pinched across the septum of the nasal cavity. These suckers were stuck in there so good that they had to put this kid under anesthesia and use a pair of larger magnets to maneuver them out because they could not physically slide them off the septum. There's currently another story circulating on Facebook of a child that had magnets that flew up their nose from one of those refillable water balloons. I am, however, going to give this story criminally offensive side eye. Because I've been around kids long enough to know that if they say something flew up their nose, most likely they put it there and they don't want to tell you. I have a hard time believing that those six magnets got into a nose without a little bit of help. But I could be wrong. If you don't know what a refillable water balloon is, it's a silicone sphere with a magnetic ring on the inside that snaps it closed so you can throw it over and over again. My personal opinion here is that if you wouldn't trust your child with these, you should not trust them with one of those. But Josh, think of the children, they need our protection. No, water balloons have their own dangers. They have been known to damage eyeballs, ears, and cause choking. Remember, kids are actively trying to kill themselves all the time. Your job as a parent is to stop that. That's just not true. My little Timmy is in the gifted group at school. He would never eat magnets. Little Timmy's gonna eat them magnets. A lot of the issue here is arising from the fact that parents don't actually understand how dangerous magnets are. Which then means they cannot actually explain the dangers to the child so that the child understands why you don't put things in the outholes. Take, for instance, a pair of magnets in your gut. Magnets want to get together. And on the inside, you are essentially a big noodle. So if those magnets get separated, they want to be together and they will tunnel through your intestines to meet up. And if you didn't know, that's really, really bad. A child's job is to void warranty. So if you give them a toy that can be taken apart, pried apart, or broken apart, chances are they are going to get to the things that are inside. And that is why these issues plague any toy with a magnet in them. Yep, even this benign looking educational toy has caused problems in children. Hell, the problem isn't even isolated to kids. There are plenty of teenagers and adults who have injured themselves with magnetic jewelry. The takeaway for all of this is to make sure you as a parent understand the dangers of the toys you're giving your children and also be comfortable explaining those dangers to them. We stick together.